What's up guys, this is iChan's iPhone and I was going to give you a review on Ubuntu 10.10. .10. So first of all, Ubuntu 10.10 uh, .10 was released, I don't really know, but I got it about a month ago. And I love it, it actually works really well on my old uh, HP computer. Because uh, I just got a new HP, it's got Windows 7 on it, I really like the Windows 7. But Linux Ubuntu... 10.10 .10 works really good and let me show you the CD for it Hold on, right here I actually downloaded this off the internet all you all Linux Ubuntu editions are free this is Ubuntu I think 10.4 or something maybe I forgot anyway but uh yeah if you live close around me uh i'd be happy to share it if you wanted it i'll show you i'll give you a view on it um just like it's an operating system it works really fast and really good though guys um so let's get started okay guys this is my uh old hp laptop with ubuntu 10.10 .10 on it this is my laptop with windows 7 i really like it I got it kind of set up like a Mac, really, uh, because of that right there. It's called Rocket Dock. I will give a link for that, and I will show you how to get it and how to download it. It's really cool. It's a dock, like a Mac. Wait just a minute. Well, I'll show you this later. Okay, anyway, back to the Ubuntu 10.10. .10. Uh, I got kind of a... I can hit my laptop and make it turn on. It's kind of broke. Yeah, all right, turned on. All right. So we're going to watch how fast it loads up with this operating system on. It doesn't hardly take any time at all. Let me adjust the light settings real quick. All right, just like that. That's good. That's good. Okay, Ubuntu 10.10 .10, as you can see. Right there. My screen's real dirty on my laptop. Sorry guys. Watch this load up. Look how fast, guys. Really, really fast. Alright, so what we're going to do is push enter on your username, whatever username you picked, and I will type in my password. I actually cannot let anybody see that, so. Okay, so we're going to let it load up. Uh, typed in my password, hit enter. So now it's just gonna load up. You know this thing, this Ubuntu uh, software really reminds me of a Mac, guys. Uh, I haven't put Rocket Dock on it yet, like on this computer, but it will look like a Mac soon enough. Um. Anyway, yeah, you see, I got all them Apple stickers. I wish it was a Mac, but anyway, we'll look at this real quick. So you got a status bar here at the top, guys. That's all the uh, accessories, everything you need. Uh, we got Google Chrome on it really, really fast. Oh, shoot. Okay. Okay, that's real fast. Uh, you know, you can go to anything. Like, for instance, here's my website. Uh, really, really, really fast word browser for Linux. So, uh... There's a, that's where my website is, that name right up there. Okay, so, anyway, I got all this stuff. My website loads really, really fast. It, it's got Java settings on it. Uh, Yeah, anyway, this operating system is full. It is packed. It's a really nice operating system. So, there's the internet. And, let's see what else we can get. I'm sorry I'm moving around so much, guys. Let's see. Okay, so you got your Wi-Fi up here. See what uh, Wi-Fi we're connected to. Uh, you got sound settings. The sound works fine on this. Uh, your power setting, your power settings up here. Go to uh, you know all that stuff. Shut down, restart, hibernate, suspend, log out. Anyway, you can switch your sessions, log out, uh, and then we got. This is really cool, actually. So I'm going to open up Google Chrome. I'm going to click down here in the bottom. 
see at the bottom and it's not on there so you got four spaces down there as you can tell they're separated so when you click on this one it brings you back to Google Chrome go to this one that's a new desktop go to this one it's a new desktop go to this one it's a new desktop so you can have actually four workspaces that's really nice guys I need it for my Windows uh, 7 I haven't downloaded it yet I don't know what it's called don't know how it is but it already comes on this operating system so that's a really good feature and then we got settings a thing one thing about this Ubuntu 10.10 uh, .10, it doesn't come with Wi-Fi settings if you have a laptop you're gonna have to go to additional drivers and I'm just gonna have to wait here for a minute let that stuff load up it has to search for drivers my Wi-Fi actually is on right now I see it's as it as you see it's blue but um and I'm not going I got Ubuntu on this computer too. I don't know if you can see this computer. Hold up. Right there. I got it on that computer down there. But the thing about it is let me turn this on. I got it on that. But the thing about it is is that uh it doesn't have Wi Fi, so you don't need to download this driver that I'm about to show you to download because it just you just hook the broadband connection right in the back of it, the Ethernet cord. So uh yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> let's see. So when you open this up, you go to settings, uh, administration, and additional drivers. Right there, you can see. Additional drivers. Let me cut off my light. Okay. And then it's going to pull up this right here. So you're going to install, which I've already installed it, so it says it's already activated. Uh, right there. This driver is activated and currently in use. You're gonna have to do the recommended drivers drive. I mean, uh, graphics driver. And you're gonna have to do the uh, <clears throat> Broadcom STA wireless driver. And then you're just gonna click down here. It says remove because I've already installed them. But if I wanted to do that one, I'll push activate. But don't do that. Just do these two: the recommended and the wireless driver. So I'll exit out of that. And then you got. Uh, it comes with Firefox web browser. You're going to have to download Google Chrome, which I really, really recommend. Uh, for me, fastest web browser I know. So, I really recommend that. Uh, so, that's about it, guys. It's got uh, your main computer settings. It's got uh, pictures, music, documents, desktop. It's the same as a computer. One thing it does not do... It will not run EXE files such as like iTunes unless you download something that's called Wine. Wine is a. Let me go ahead and shut this down for you, real quick, guys. Uh, well, I'm going to leave it up. Wine is actually a. Um, it's like a program that you can open up Windows and maybe Mac. I think it's just Windows EXE files. Um. Linux because Linux will not open them up but I struggle to get that work I've only got it to work once and I'm not going to try it again after I got this new Ubuntu 10.10 .10. but if you're just looking for a computer to play games on YouTube uh, web browsing definitely get Ubuntu it's pretty cool especially if your computer's broke it's awesome operating system so let me get back to you face Okay guys, somebody showed me Ubuntu, actually the operating system I just showed you, somebody showed it to me uh, about mm, four or five months ago, one of my friends named Jake Carter, uh, and I've liked it ever since, he actually showed me how to download it, I downloaded it, put it on, uh, put it on this computer right here at first, the one you just saw, and uh, then I stuck it on this one right here the uh, big one so I, I really I'm really impressed with Ubuntu um anyway I really recommend it if you're looking for something such as I said uh, just watching videos just kinda like an entertainment PC but you're gonna struggle probably to get iTunes on it so I wouldn't actually try that um anyway thanks guys see you later subscribe